So I've tried out some new themes. We are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. So I've tried out some themes on my website. Sorry, that was my voicemail at home. And, uh, Craig, what's up with this sidebar? Look, it's completely blank. My sidebar is completely blank. It seems to do that with all my themes. Well, that's because you haven't activated any widgets. And widgets are very important in WordPress. So I'm back at my first blog, and I'm using the theme that I used on the previous video, that I installed on the previous video and activated. And I'm going to go to my dashboard here. So let me just type in WP Admin so that I can log into my dashboard. And now that I'm actually in here, on the left-hand side, under the Appearance section, like before when we changed the theme, this time we're going to select Widgets. Now, Widgets are actually for the sidebar. As you can see on the right-hand side here, it says Sidebar 1 is currently empty. So, Widgets are a way for me to put whatever information that I would like or need in the sidebar and display it in whatever order I would like or need. So, let's say on the right-hand side, I would like it to display all my categories that have posts. So I'm just going to drag my categories over there, and I'm going to drop it. And I can either show it as a drop-down menu, show how many posts are in each category. Sure, I'll show that. Or show it as a hierarchy. And the title is just, you know, what is the title? It says, My Blog Categories. I can put whatever I want there. And then I'll just click Save. So that's going to show up on the right-hand sidebar. That's my first widget that I decided to use. So let me go ahead and close that. Now let's go back here on the left-hand side, and what else will I want to show? Okay, let me go ahead and show my recent posts below the categories. Hang on, let me drag it over here and drop it. The title is My Recent Blog Posts. Again, you can call it whatever you'd like. And then I want to show my five most recent ones, so I'm going to just do that and click Save. And let me just close that as well, so now I have categories and recent posts, but wait a minute, I decided I want my recent posts to be shown above my categories, so I can just drag it above it and drop it, and see how it cir the circle appears, it saves it automatically for me. Now let's go back to the left-hand side, and you say, well maybe, Craig, I wanna, I'm going to eventually want to paste AdSense code in here, right? I'm going to be able to po paste uh, whatever my advertising code is. No problem. You have this text that says arbitrary text or HTML. And when you actually create advertisements on your site, you're going to copy and paste the code that Google gives you or whatever you're going to whatever advertising service is going to give you. You're going to paste it into this text box. So let me drag this text box over here. And if I wanted to insert text, I'd say probably my sponsors. There's very certain things you're not allowed to say, like you can't say click here to support me or click here to donate. You can't do things like that. Uh, there's certain words you are allowed to use. My sponsors is one of them. And again, that's in the Google's terms of service, AdSense terms of service. And then down here you would say here is where, you wouldn't type this, but this is here is where you'd paste your ad code. And then down here I'm just going to click save and then I'm going to select close. And as you can see, I have three uh, three sidebars on my current uh, format. Now, some themes have two sidebars, some have three sidebars, some have like separated sidebars that are next to each other. A lot of themes do it different ways. This is a very simplistic one. There's only one sidebar. Now, simplicity isn't always a bad thing, but uh, if that's the way you like to do it, that's the way you like to do it, and it's all up to you, and it all is up to the theme that you choose. So, after you're done, just click back on your first blog, upper left-hand corner, so that it loads your blog up, and what you'll see is how this theme organizes those particular things. On the right-hand side, it says My Sponsors as the category name, and this is where I would have pasted my code, so my, my ad would actually appear there. Below that's my recent blog post, and it's uh, how to make a search engine friendly first blog post and Hello World, which was the starter one. It only shows two because I don't have more than I don't have five recent posts. My blog categories, as you can see, I have one under search engine tips. As you saw before, I categorized it by search engine tips. And uncategorized is because the default one is uncategorized. And then, of course, if I scroll down, it automatically it looks like it automatically added category and archives and partner links. So certain themes will do this to you. And if it does that, then, well, they have already got a categories one. I don't need to add my own my blog categories. So I can probably go back to my theme settings. Let me just click back. And let me go ahead and reload this. See how the sidebar is empty over here? That's just because I clicked back. Let me go ahead and reload this page. And my items will show up here. And let me drag the categories off of there since it already shows it on the theme. And it automatically saves. So then let me go back to my blog, and if I go back to the right-hand side, as you can see, it's my sponsors, where I would have pasted my ad code, my recent blog posts, and category. So 
widgets are absolutely fundamental in the layout and design of your page. Just because you might like the theme, you might hate the theme after you've played around with your widgets because you don't like how they're formatted, you don't like how they look. Because I think these are rather hideous on the right hand side, but that's a personal preference thing. So that's all there is to this video. I want to show you guys how wid show you guys how widgets work. And now that you know how widgets work, we can uh, go forward with a few more features of WordPress you should know about before we decide to make your website go live. So thanks for stopping by. As always, leave comments and ratings because it always helps me out. And don't forget to swing by the website, pcmichigan.com, so that you can watch my other videos. I have Faster Vista, Faster XP, all kinds of tech support videos, and you can ask questions at the forum. Thanks again.